Hi guys, I'm Chris Cataldo. Vlog number one here, and we're gonna go through my camera bag and see why everything's in there. Let's go for it. First things first. Case, Pelican 1510. Beast. It is the only case I've ever wanted, and it's the only case I'm ever gonna need again. By default, me making this video makes me a YouTuber. You don't see a lot of YouTubers with this kind of case. They have to go backpack, soft shell. I have one of those too, but with the kind of work that I do in production, this thing is a monster, and it's everything that I need it to be. It's durable, it holds all my stuff, and it does it well. Let's dig into it. Hold it up for you guys, just so you, I don't wanna set up my second cam, so. This is what you're looking at. Ziploc case that did not come with the pack, I had to get that separately. And then everything else kinda sits in the bottom between my lenses and all my cameras and stuff like that. Divider came with it, Black Friday deal. And let's get into it a little bit. First off, we're gonna go with some smaller things. Stuff that's important, but stuff that has to be there. Batteries. Batteries, you need them all the time, everywhere. Batteries always accompanied by chargers. Get rechargeables, don't go and get a 20 pack from CVS. Get rechargeable batteries. They're gonna save your life and you need them every single shoot that you're on. Cleaning cloth. Lenses get dirty, you sneeze, it rains, there's crap all over the place, you get them. Get it, clean your stuff. Next up, ND filter, neutral density filter. This one's a variable from Hoya. I got this on a, on a recommendation from Peter McKinnon. Shout out Peter, you're my dude. Love your videos, man. Wanna collaborate sometime, let me know, reach out. You know, this one's pretty straightforward. It sits on the front of your, on the front of your lens. Dark, dark, dark. Bright, bright, bright. Really helps when you're shooting outdoors. They're a lifesaver. If you're trying to get low F stops to help really retain some really high quality stuff outdoors on a bright sunny day in the park, you need one of these. You guys gotta keep, uh, it's early in the morning, you gotta keep going with that monster because it's the elixir of life. Peter McKinnon likes coffee, I like monster. It's all right. I don't drink coffee, never have a day in my life, but you like what you like at the end of the day. Next up, this is my Cura Photo. Cura Photo SD card wallet. What it has in the store is all of my memory for all of my shoots whenever I need it. Boom, boom, boom. Always, always carry this wherever I go. I make sure all my cards are clean and done before I shoot anything ever. I love the uh, the SanDisk cards. I use these all the time. I really only exclusively use them. I got a cheat. I got a free one here from Micro Center because why the heck not? But you know, the black is the fastest, followed by the gold and then the silver. So you know, the, the get what you can. Start that way and keep going. Get here, a nice waterproof snap. Closed, waterproof snap. And there's a rubber rubber gasketing through the whole thing so I can chuck this in the water, it floats, it's good to go. It's like eight bucks on Amazon, I'll link it below if you guys wanna check it out. You know, Pelican's got a case for like 35, but it's the same exact thing personally. And I also love Pelican, but go for the cheaper one. So back to batteries, we're going to the Canon LPE6 battery set. Batteries are king, I got one in my my, main, my A camera, one of my B camera, two extras, which is not enough. I still need to get more. You gotta kinda work with what you got. I got two chargers as well. They last forever and ever. You're at a shoot, long day, you're shooting, you're running around. It's important to me to have locks just in case. Um, if my case is unattended for a long period of time, yeah. You know what, bottom line, it could get stolen, but then no one's just gonna pop it open and take what they want, and that's the important part. I have a combination lock, and I also have a key master lock just because of what I had lying around. And you spend thousands and thousands of dollars on this equipment, it's gotta be secure. You have to protect your investment. This stuff is important. You know, especially if you're trying to make your livelihood on it like me, you know what, you can't afford it. Boom. This I think is a silly one, but also important. You also want to keep a clean set of business cards on you at all times. Business cards, right? You never know who you're gonna meet, especially on shoots. You're always networking, always connecting with other people. You always want to have an ample amount of these I always have these in my wallet, in my case, in my car, they're everywhere, just to make sure you don't miss a golden opportunity to, to make some money, earn some business, make a connection, make a new friend, whatever the case may be. I also carry around this, um, this is actually a gift, and uh, I can't be more thankful for it, but it's um, a small Canon Speedlight. It is a Speedlight 270EX. I have yet to use this. It's incredible for the size and what it can do, and I got this and I was giddy as a schoolgirl for so long. Again, could be more grateful for it. By far the best flash I've used personally, and I like to shoot on a budget, and that's important to me and what I do. This is a newer, what is this? Uh, we have a newer Speedlight NW670. With uh, This is TTL, and that's why I like to use it, through the lens shooting. That was important to me when I got it. I shoot a lot on this flash, I learned on this flash. It does a lot of things really, really well at an incredible price point. I picked this one up, 50 bucks, and without the TTL on it, I think it was 40 bucks after that. Guys that are just starting out, really trying to nail exposure and learn, I tell you, this is the way to go. Look at this thing, I mean, I think it's beautiful personally. I'd highly, highly recommend it. Um, I'm not a proponent of spending money just to spend it. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an eBay shopper. I buy things at a price point that's 
important because I value my money because I don't have a whole lot of it like most people out there. Uh, now we're getting into the fun stuff, the stuff you guys really came to this video for. What do I shoot with, right? I've said before, I keep saying I'm a Canon shooter. I shot in college on a Canon T5 and it was a phenomenal experience. I got my mom a Rebel T6 for her birthday almost two years ago now, but I knew I needed to, get to start moving and start upgrading fast. So I went here, I went with the Canon 80D. This thing is an absolute beast. You know, it's your first camera personally and it was uh, it was emotional for me <laughs> at the time. Very happy, but very, very proud to be able to buy my own camera. Canon 80D is a crop body. It is a 1.6 crop on all the lenses you put on it that are full frame. Did a very good job to start my shooting career. I learned well, I learned my exposure on it. It was good, but then I saw its limitations very, very fast, especially when I was shooting indoors. The ISO is pretty garbage, unfortunately. You can't shoot above 1600 without getting some serious noise that needs serious cleanup. I'm gonna do a video on this at some point too. This versus this camera that I'm shooting on right now. I'll tell you guys that in a little bit. So when I got this camera, I also paired it with a my first lens, the Canon 24 to 105. This thing, is a gem. 24 to 105 f4 IS2. I really had a hard time getting rid of this this uh, lens as a whole. I really, really have tried and tried hard to get rid of it. But for me, I mean, it's just so pretty. Look at that. It's the red ring. It's just gorgeous. Oh, I got this lens because it was price efficient. F4 was pretty good for me. I was shooting a lot of all around stuff. I wasn't really shooting anything too specific at the time. So I'm like, you know what? I really want to cover all my bases, and this was the lens to do it with. F4, that's in a good amount of light, just decent bokeh. It's got digital IS. Um, 24 to 105, not the sharpest lens in the world, I'll be honest. I would much rather have the 24 to 70 2.8. I would sacrifice the image stabilization to have a cleaner, crisper image. Uh, you know, you lose a little focal length, that's fine. You get the 2.8. The extra thousand dollars, not so great. Even used. This, the the latest version of the 24 to 70 is unbelievably expensive. That's hard for me to endorse. Um, there are better alternatives, and I will keep you guys updated as that goes because I. I think this lens is going to be cycling out pretty soon so um, I don't have a lot here left for you guys but I do have the one the one that every to me every perfect working professional should have it's the lens that I think everybody needs this is Canon's 70-200 f 2.8 IS number two I mean just look at it I mean doesn't that just make you smile when you see it it is a absolute monster of a lens. I don't know. I don't know how much it weighs off the top of my head, but this thing has got to be somewhere around three pounds, three and a half pounds, and it just goes and it shoots as the day is long. I mean, once you shoot with a lens like this, you don't go back to anything else. It's just once you set the bar this high, it's just so hard to replace it. It's so hard to be like, oh, I want to shoot with the uh, 24 to 7. Every shoot I'm on, I whip this bad boy out and I'm shooting with it. I mean. Whether it's stills or whether it's photo or whatever, I'm just, I'm still shooting with it. And um, it's fun, man, it's a fun shooter. This thing is phenomenal, the depth of field this thing creates at that 200 millimeter to 2.8, it does everything, it does it all, and you can never ever complain about this thing. Now I'm gonna tell you what, you, what I got going on this main cam here, my A cam. Okay, I'm gonna do a little switch for you guys so you can see. Oh, all right, so here, sorry guys, I had to switch up a little bit on you. I kinda like this angle a little bit better actually. <laughs> Maybe I'll shoot the next video like this, who knows. So here's my main shooter. This is my Canon. Uh, you know what? I like this light here. Let's try that. How's that? Uh, a little bit of shadow. All right, that's gonna work for now. We're wrapping this thing up anyway. So here's my main shooter, my A cam. This is my Canon 6D Mark II. Let's see if we can get that focused in there. Boom, that's my Canon 6D Mark II. Now this is a, uh, a full frame camera. Right now a pair of my 50 millimeter f1.8. This lens is phenomenal. Can't say enough good things about it, other than it's cheap as hell, and that's the best selling point about it. You will not get a faster lens for cheaper money anywhere. It's loud, it's a little clunky. You might have heard it auto focusing before and earlier in the video because it's just, it's not the best at the end of the day. It is 1.8. Shooting indoors is phenomenal, especially paired with this 60 Mark II. Full frame sensor, I think a 26.2 or 26 megapixel, uh, uh, sensor in this camera. It is a monster of a camera a very budget-friendly full-frame option again eBay Frankly, I get all my stuff off eBay. It takes time Unfortunately the monster, you know, it always gets my job done. This is not a paid uh, promotional video It's not sponsored, but I just love monster that much. Hey monster You want to reach out and sponsor my videos by all means I will take sponsorship all day long I will be the monster youtuber if you let me I'll get it tattooed on my chest. I don't care monster all day. And guys, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for coming and watching my video. I love this stuff more than life itself, and it's just so much fun for me to go through all my gear and have an outlet like you guys to talk to. I can also do an eBay buying guide for you guys to see if you guys are really, really dying for gear and you really wanna know how to hunt for it, I will show you guys how I built what I have so far in a matter of maybe six months. Guys, thanks again, and I'll see you at the next video.